Good morning, everybody. This is Maureen Rolfus, also known as the Crazy Stamping Lady from Prescott, Arizona. I'm happy to be here with you today. I'm watching for my video to come up, and I haven't seen it yet, so I hope I am up and running. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, for some reason, I am not getting my video. I'm going to go back out of this just for a second. And then come back in and see what happens. Sometimes that's all it takes. So let's see. If I don't see it, which I don't, but it looks like it's running. I think I'm just going to keep going for it. Every now and then I just can't see my video. Makes no sense to me, but Facebook seems to have a mind of its own. So. I am Maureen Rolfus from Prescott, Arizona. I've been an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator for nearly 25 years, and I love what I do. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2021, and I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm hoping you are seeing me, but realize, because I can't see my video for whatever reason that might be, it means I can't respond to any comments. Um, I don't know who's on, I don't know why it's giving me such a rough time, but occasionally um, Facebook just wants to be a pain, and that is what it's being. So, moving right along, hopefully this, like I said, is being shown to you, even though I can't see it. Um, yeah, I've tried everything, guys. Can't find it. Not up and running. Don't know where I am. Assuming I'm running because my camera looks like it is. Um, so as always, I will be drawing from the comments from today's video and giving away the project we make today. Be sure to comment as many times as you like. I love to know what you think. And if you have any questions, please ask. I will be sure to answer them. Um, since I can't see your comments now, I will answer them at the end. Any comments entered today through tomorrow midnight will be entered and I will draw for a winner the next morning. I want to congratulate Deb Krantz. She won the last Split Front Edens card that I made in my last live. And so I really appreciate you watching. If you ever want to see any of my old videos, just go to the video section or media section on your Facebook when you're on my Crazy Stamping Lady page. And you can watch them all. Okay, hostess code information. Marine Rolfus, Crazy Stamping Lady. My website where you can shop. My blog where you can see my classes and Tim Tebow information and a lot more. And my email. Please feel free to contact me anytime. Here is my November hostess code. If you are ordering online from me, please use that hostess code. It gives me the most benefits for what you're ordering. And also that allows me to give more back to you. Um, if you are ordering over $150, then do not use that because you will earn some free merchandise of your own. I'm going to pass that aside. Our mini catalog goes through January 3rd. Um, just going to double check that. I don't know why that date's so hard for me to remember, but it is. And then on the 4th, our new catalog will start. I want to let you know if you want a new catalog for me, I will be ordering them this month and sending out the spring catalogs to anyone who's ordered from me since June 1st. So if you want a catalog, you still have time, go ahead and place an order on my website now through the 27th of this month at midnight. And then on the 28th, I'm going to finalize all the customers who will get those catalogs. So um, just letting you know that. This annual catalog continues on through April, so you have lots of time for that. But don't forget about it. There are great things in that catalog to see. And then here is my Tim Tebow information, the ministry I'm supporting this year. This is last month's products. I just want to remind you that they were not available the end of last month. So still, if you order Sparkle of the Season, the Seasonal Swirl Dyes, the Sparkle of the Season Bundle, or the Cork Specialty Paper, now through Saturday midnight, let me know and I will count that toward last month's Tim Tebow donation because they are now available or at least orderable. And then this is this month's products, sweet, Sweets and Treats stamp set, the cloche dies, the craft gift boxes, and the cloche shaker domes. You can find those all in the current fall catalog. Or if you go to my blog, crazystampinglady.blogspot.com, 
you can go under the tab that says Tim Tebow and you can see all those products in living color. All right, moving right along. So let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you before I go through. Um, oh, yeah, if you can share my video, even though I can't see it, I'm assuming you are, if you can share that with friends or another crafty group, that really helps my business out. It gets me out there to people that would never, ever probably find me on Facebook um, because of the way it's set up. And if you do that, let me know, and I'll give you an extra entry in today's drawing. So today we are making an inchy card using the Eden's Garden products. Now, if you want to see more about the Eden Garden bundle, please watch my last video from Tuesday. Um, I showed it, all the products on there and talked a little bit more about them. But these are a product package that is available now. It'll be coming back in the spring catalog. But the paper I am using today, the designer series paper, which is called Ever Eden, is only available during this month so um, be sure you order that now if you want to get that paper as well as the cotton paper that is in there and the beautiful gems so today this is the card we are making it is an inchy card and it is very simple and it comes together very quickly I'm going to show you some tips for it I don't know if you guys remember the big rage about inchies a while back, maybe, I don't even know how many years ago, um, but cards were made over and over with these one inch squares of either designer series paper or some kind of a specialty paper like the cork or the linen papers or inchies that had images stamped on them were put on cards. And so because I love this designer series paper, so much and because it is going to go away um, it's only while supplies last I wanted to feature it in a real fantastical way where it is the focal point of my card and that's what I'm doing so to make this card you are actually going to cut out 12 squares and I used evening evergreen these squares are one and a quarter by one and a quarter and then 12 squares that are one inch by one inch out of the designer series paper and since we had six different designs I just cut out two squares of each design to make this card um, I will say when you're making it you want to be very careful to get these as close to perfect as you can now if they're not perfect it's really not gonna matter but because they're fitting like almost like in a quilt like pattern on my card you want to have them straight and even and so that they look really nice so I took some time just being a little careful to cut these as close as I could to being perfectly square um, and yeah so just take some time with that because that's kind of once you do that it comes together really quickly so take your time with that part for this card you're also gonna need some kind of banner so I cut this little banner out of the dies that go with Eden Garden so here's the Eden Garden stamp set and the dies that coordinate and here is that little banner right here if you don't have that you could just cut a rectangle and that would be fine too and then I have a little piece of basic white that's going to go on here with our sentiment and then after we do all that we're going to add some gems etc so here are the six different designs that are in this designer series paper and like I said they are gorgeous and if you turn all of these sides have little gold accents you can probably see those if you turn them over the other sides do not have gold accents but they are just beautiful more neutral patterns that you could use on any card and I am a sucker for greens so this paper got me from hello um, what I did is I just cut one inch strips of each of the designer series paper and then cut them down at one inch little inches and you can actually get enough out of one strip of each of the designer series paper you can get enough to make six cards like this so it makes your designer series paper go a long way um, I don't even know how many that would be six times twelve would be what 60, 78. I, you can get a lot of cards out of a designer series paper pack using this method. So my math skills aren't up to par, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks for how I did this card. First thing I do is I think I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. So this sentiment 
just barely fits on this piece of cardstock. The cardstock is one half inch by two and five eighths, and that makes it fit perfectly on this little banner here. So let's see if I can stamp it. I'm going to use the hello there because I want it to be kind of a general card. And we are going to do our best to stamp this even and straight. And if we don't, we always have a plan B, right? All right, not too bad. We're going to use it. Um, my plan B was that I pre-stamped one, but it was no better than this one. So we're going to go with this. So I'll set these up here and aside for a minute. And then I'm going to bring in a card. So I already started a card. You can see. But I wanted to show you kind of my process when I did this. What I did is I mounted all of my little inches onto the one and a quarter inch pieces of cardstock. Now I haven't done that here because I want to show you how I mount them, but I did in my first original card. And then I laid them out onto my card base in the pattern that I wanted. So I'm just using a basic white card base, normal size, so it's um, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. It's a vertical open card, so it's going to open just like our normal cards like that. And then I laid them on there. And that just gave me my pattern. I could move them around so that like all of my whites weren't next to each other or all of my darks weren't next to each other. And I just got a really nice pattern that I wanted. And then to put my inches together, I can do these about two at a time. So this is going to be the next one and then this one. So we're going to do them two at a time. If I can move that out of the way. And I'm going to use Tombow glue for this because the Tombow gives me some wiggle room. So if I don't get on there exactly straight, I can still move it around a little bit. And I love that. So we're going to use Tombow. I did want to point out how I keep my pin for my Tombow glues. Um, I found these great T pins at Walmart. They are for like macrame or other kind of sewing projects, quilting, but they're extra sturdy. They're thicker than most of your stick pins. And I love that T-top because it makes it really easy to hang on to. So I just bought a bundle of these and I put them right inside the plastic on my Tombow when I'm using it. And then if my little tip clogs, I have it handy. So we are going to just flip these two pieces of the designer series paper. And I'm going to add Tombow to the back of them. Now I'm adding it more to the center because I want some wiggle room to move this around and I don't want it to ooze out. And as you set it on there, it'll hold tight, so we're good with that. And I'm going to close this up and put it aside. And then because these are tiny, makes them a little hard to work with, I am going to use a little tweezers and just flip it over and lay it right onto my base. Now once it's on there, I can just move it around because that Tombow is still wet. Get it where I want it and push it down well, and then we're good. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And just by doing two at a time, it still gave me plenty of time to work with that Tombow and made the whole process go a tiny bit faster. All right, so there's my next two that will fit right down in here. And then I'm going to take my Tombow one more time. Now, when you're putting those DSP onto the green, it doesn't matter what direction they're going because when you place them on your card, because it's a square, you can turn it any way you want. So I didn't worry about that. But when I place them on my card, I will think about that as I'm placing them. I'm going to do the same thing with the Tombow on the back of these two pieces. And then flip these. And when I'm doing this, I always keep them in the order I want them so I don't mess them up as I'm placing them. So then you're going to put that on your card. Take a minute to get your spacing as close as you can. And because I placed these on my card ahead of time, I was able to see how much of a space I would be able to use on my card. Um, so take the time to do things like that. In the long run, you'll be happy you did. And you'll see that all of my inches, even though I was very careful, are not exactly the same. Like this one hangs over a little bit. Um, but it is what it is. And I don't think that once you look at the final cards that you really notice that in any way. Just look at those pretty colors. I love them so much. Okay, we're going to take the hello there and I'm going to use the Tombow one more time on here. And the reason I'm using it on here, I'm just going to go kind of right down 
the middle here again. I want a little wiggle room. Is because this fits almost perfectly on that banner. And so when I lay it down, I want to be able to move it and have it spaced right where I want it. It is just a little bit of a border at the top on the bottom there. And it just overhangs the two ends just by a tad. Like that. And again, the size of that is a half inch by two and five eighths which makes it fit perfectly on there. And then we're gonna add this to the front of our card. And to do that, I'm gonna use our dimensionals. So put one, two, three of those, because I want it on there nice and secure. And then you could place this really anywhere you want it on the front of your card. You could place it at the top on any of these banners. You could place it right in the middle between the two of them. But I kind of liked it off-centered a little bit on this third one, um, just so that it wasn't totally at the top or bottom. I think it turned out really pretty there, and that's the way I'm going to use it. And then we're going to add a couple little gems. So we're using the Genial Gems from the Annual Catalog. These are gorgeous. They're like a light minty color and then a clearish creamy color, and both of them have gold dazzling gold little sparkles in there. I hope you can see those. And so I like that because of the gold in here. On this one, I use the green ones, and you can really see them sparkle in the light. But I think I'm gonna try the tan ones on the card I'm making today. So let me grab my Take Your Pick tool and cut in here. And I'm gonna grab one on this side. And another for on this side for just a little bit of shimmer and sparkle but I want this card to be all about the designer series paper so I don't want to overwhelm it and I think I kind of like that color better it just seems to pop a little bit more on the card so um, but either are great so so this is the card people then on the inside I didn't want to put a sentiment because hello there it's very generic and I love sending cards like that and I don't like to have them all um, with a specific sentiment I want them to be kind of general but I am going to come in here and add a little branch so this branch is from the Eden's Garden stamp set and I'm just going to come down here and with the evening evergreen add that on the inside of my card and I think the oh I just think the branches in here are so lovely how pretty is that so that is our card. I forgot to grab an envelope, but when you win, if you win, you will get this card and a decorated envelope, and it'll be in a nice plastic sheet so that it'll be protected, and you can use it to send out and make somebody's day. So I hope you liked my card, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't interact with you today. I'll have to see what's happening on Facebook, and hopefully I won't have to redo this whole video because I wasn't there. Um, be sure to leave your comments today and tomorrow for a chance to win this card. Again, please share my video with others that you know. And if you do, let me know and I'll give you another entry. I love to hear from you guys. You have till midnight tomorrow night to comment to, for a chance to win this. Thanks for joining me. I plan to be back here on Tuesday, November 9th at 9.30 a.m. with some more stamping inspiration. And until then, keep smiling and keep creating. Bye.